Welcome to my Notion tour. In this video, I'll show you how to organize your entire life in Notion using my easy and aesthetic life planner template. This tutorial will help you make the most of Notion powerful tool. I will walk you through all the main pages and show you how each section can help you stay organized and achieve your goals. Let's get started. When you first open the template, you'll see the home page. This is your central hub where you can access all the main sections quickly and easily. Each section links to databases in the subpages of the main pages. For more details on each section, just head to the subpages using the navigation at the top of the home page. This layout ensures you can see everything at a glance and navigate to different parts of your planner easily. Next is the productivity section. It is where you can manage your tasks, goals, planner, and more. Each subpage is designed to help you get things done and stay on top of your goals. In every section, there is navigation at the top and subpages on the left. Let's take a look at the to-do list section. You can edit any database from the homepage, main section, or subpages, and changes will automatically update across databases. All databases have different views you can explore. To create a new task, just click the plus new button and add task details. Completed tasks are sorted to the bottom. Next is goal setting. You can set and track your goals in this section. To add a new goal, click the plus icon and add goal details. Then break down goals into actionable steps. Create a group linked to your goal, click the plus new button and list action plans. Check off steps when completed. Moving on to the weekly plan, plan your week ahead to stay focused and organized. Hover over the card, click the pen icon to edit, add the date, add a priority, and your three main tasks. Start a new week by clicking the new week button. Now the monthly plan. This lets you schedule meetings, appointments, and deadlines. Hover over the calendar, click the plus icon. You can add events with emojis, type colon, then followed by the keyword such as laptop or celebration, add event details, and select event types. In the learning and growth section, organize your reading list and track courses you're taking. Lastly, the brain dump section. It lets you jot down anything, including using GIFs from Giphy. Next section is finance. This section helps you take control of your money. This part of the template includes subpages for transactions, accounts, budgeting, and more. By keeping all your financial information in one place, you can easily monitor your spending, save more effectively, and plan for the future. First, go to the account subpage and list all your assets and liabilities, including cash, bank accounts, e wallets, credit cards, and personal loans. Select the type and input the starting balance. For the ability such as credit cards or loans, add a minus sign before the amount. The current balance will be automatically calculated based on your transactions. Next is budgeting. Enter your monthly budget for income, expenses, and savings. The monthly actuals will be automatically calculated. You can edit, delete, or add new categories based on your needs. Next is bills and subscriptions. Track your bills and subscriptions in this section. Add details including the starting date, the due date will be calculated for reminders. This page is not linked to transactions, so you have to manually input your payment in the transaction page, which we will discuss next. You can track daily income, expenses, saving, and transfer in this section. Start by inputting the transaction name, then select the date, type, category, and amount. For accounts, if it's income, select the to account. If it's an expense, select the from account. For transfers, select both the from and to accounts. In this finance section, you'll find a financial overview summarizing your monthly and yearly transactions. They are all automatically calculated. Review your finances here to see your earnings and spending on monthly and yearly basis. The last section is wish list. Use this section to list things you wish to buy and check them off when purchasing. Next is health and wellness. This section focuses on your physical and mental well-being, designed and help you build and maintain healthy habits, track your progress, and ensure you're taking care of yourself inside and out. Start with meal plan section. To edit gallery card, hover over the card, select the pen icon, and start editing. When you just start it, don't forget to add the date. Then you can start playing your weekly meal plan. In this section, you can also organize your favorite recipe, add a cover, and details about the recipe. You can add images or embed a recipe YouTube video.
Next is Habit Tracker. You can edit the habit name by clicking the property, select Edit Property, and just rename it. To add more habit, just select the plus button. If you have more or less total habit than what is provided, make sure to always update the total habit number and update the formula in the progress bar by adding the new habit. Under the habit tracker, you will have monthly habit summary. Again, if you set more or less habit than what is provided, start with the monthly progress. Copy the last habit formula, rename and update the property. Update the completion and the total habit. If you change the name of any habit, you need to update the formula as well. Change to your new habit and to add more habit, duplicate the property. Change the habit name and also the correct property. Repeat the same steps for the yearly habit. Moving on to workout tracker, start by planning your weekly workout. Select the tag, select category, and add details activities. Select the intensity. Now you can start tracking your workout routine. You can also monitor your workout journey in this workout progress section. Next is sleeping tracker. For when to bed at, select the date yesterday you went to bed and then enable input time. Input the time you went to sleep and don't forget to change the am to pm. For woke up time, select the today's date and add time you woke up that day. Next is the supplement tracker. List all supplements or vitamins you take including details like intake time, purchase date, and expiry date. Edit, delete, or add properties to your supplement list and update the taken formula, adding or deleting properties as needed. Finally, you can write in the daily journal section. Hover over the card, click the pen icon to edit. You can add affirmations, gratitude, daily hike likes, and track your mood and water intake. You can also link this journal to the sleep tracker, supplement tracker, and workout tracker to have a comprehensive overview of your day. When starting a new week, click the button to create a new journal entry. Next is home and lifestyle. This section helps you manage various aspects of your personal life and household. It includes subpages for your cleaning routine, shopping list, watch list, beauty, wardrobe, and travel plans. By organizing these elements, you can create a more balanced and enjoyable living environment. In the shopping list section, you can keep track of your pantry item. This database includes all the food and ingredients you have at home. When you run out of an item, simply uncheck the stop box and the item will automatically appear in your shopping list. Add more items by clicking the plus new button at the end of the table. This applies to home supplies as well. Now let's look at the travel planner. This travel section is designed with pre-made templates. When you create a new trip, click on it and you'll see the pre-made template for planning individual trips, including itinerary, transportation, packing list, and travel budget. This keeps all the travel plans organized in one place. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.